Okay, let's see what kind of power we got here. Ready? Oh my gosh! <laughs> got that oh my door. gosh, it's like pinning me back! <laughs> wow. Is this thing registered? Uh, you tell me. I don't want to be getting in any sort of trouble, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something different. Uh, Olivia is out to lunch right now and we have a surprise coming in for her. It's, it's not actually for her, but it's something that we think she's really going to like. So we didn't tell her about it and um, it's coming in on a trailer right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think she's really going to like this. All right, we're going to have to move some cars around because this is a really big surprise. I'll say that. They're very big. Andrew's going to fire up the Slayer Camaro, move it off to the side. Dang, I really need to reupholster the seat, don't I? It's getting really bad. It's pretty, this, uh, this is the original seat? That's the original seat? The original. Wow. From 1969. It keeps the Slayer vibe, though, you know? Yeah. All right. What'd you do? Dude, you knocked off my speaker grill with your big old Ronald McDonald feet. <laughs> Shut up. Did I really? Did I that? think so. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Fire in the hole! Okay, as you guys all know, Olivia loves her Pontiacs. She likes big old cars. Big so, old cars. So we got this opportunity to work on this for a family member. We took it. We're not trying to do any more work here in the shop technically because we got a lot of stuff going on. But this just needs kind of like a tune-up. So. All right, here it is. A big old boat of Pontiac. And we're not going to look at the car too closely yet because we want this to be a surprise for us and for Olivia as well. I don't know much about it at all other than it's a 1975 and it's been parked in a garage for a very long time. But that's about it. Oh, here she comes. When she finds out that this ain't hers, your ass is done. <laughs> oh, don't tell her it's not for her. But she's going to really enjoy it working on it. I don't know if the horn works, but don't even think about it yet. Danny? Yeah. We kind of parked funny. Parked funny? Yeah, just because there's like not like the slayers. That's all right. Is that okay? Yeah. What you Come on in. What I got to show you. There's a surprise for you in here. Okay. But first thing I need you to know is it's not yours, but I think you're really going to like it. And that's why I wanted to surprise you with this. Come on in. The new customer. What? <laughs> Whose is this? This is a family member's. This is Adrian's. This is Adrian's? Yeah, she oh, in inherited it. So, really? Yeah. This one I think she can get more badass. She gets a <laughs> Pontiac. Yes. Yay, another Pontiac in the shop. Yeah, we know nothing about it really, other than it's a 1975, okay. and it's a Grand Le Mans. Oh, it's the Grand Le Mans. Yeah. Aloha edition. Yeah, I really like that. <laughs> wow, this thing is so mint on the inside. Right? It's like, it's really nice. Check out the vinyl top on this. Damn. Okay, this is pretty cool. When I saw the Chevelle outside, I was like, I like my jaw dropped because I'm like, there's gonna be a car in here. Like, why would they take it out? <laughs> this is so sweet. Look Ooh. at these gauges. I know, that is sick. Oh my gosh, Pontiac, the one thing I'll say is they always like have pretty nasty rear end designs. Mm. Like, this is different for sure. It's cool, it's still cool. It's a wow, is this thing longer than my, my car? Or is it the same? Possibly. Have a seat. I can really, I can go yeah. in there. We gotta work on this car. So she said basically to make this thing run good and it needs new tires, there's a small oil leak. So we gotta check out where that's coming from and then tune up the motor a little bit. These doors get all the bad gas out of it. Are heavier than S body doors, but like mm -hmm. by a lot. Look how long it is. Look how, it's so heavy. 
<laughs> oh. Okay, this is luxury. <laughs> Where out that horn? It's a little like. Is it, it the? It, or is it, oh, it does work. <laughs> it's like touchy. It <laughs> it's like. It has air conditioning too. Wow. Well, look at these vents. That's cool. <gasps> no way. What? Like this? Really? That's like this is all original? I think. Probably even original paint. You want me to pop the hood? Yeah. I wonder what motor it has in it. Or is it open? Or There's only you... one exhaust. There's only one exhaust pipe? But sometimes they did like duels into one. Especially in 75, they got a little weird with the performance. This is definitely a V8. V8. Dang. Wow. So this must have been rebuilt. What is this motor? 455? They had a 455, right? Pontiac did? But I don't know if uh, this Le Mans would have had one. Wow, it's got like so much going on. You got your compressor, got the heat seal. Look at that brake booster. Shoot. That's kind of the reason I'm wondering if it's been rebuilt is because you see how this is painted? And I don't know if mm -hmm. that was painted the same color as the motor originally, and that definitely wasn't. So question. somebody, somebody really cared for this car. What carburetor is on it? Like a stock? It probably is going to need a rebuild. It runs, but it's a little rough. It's a little rough? It has some old fuel in it. You can smell it. It's cool. Look how big it is. You, like, you, know, you know what this car needs? It's some Texas Longhorns on the front. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, right? Cruise around with a cowboy hat on. I, like I really like the um, the top, like that vinyl top with the interior. I really like that. Like, oh, watch your fingers. Oh my gosh. We'll leave that pin stripe. Yeah, this thing needs some horns. Headliner's in really good shape. Maybe we should get you those seat covers for the Slayer so you're not tearing your... <laughs> we were just talking about those seats right now. Really? Yeah. Keeps, oh. <laughs> keeps the vibe of the Slayer, you We know? all think the same thing. It has to be done. We're gonna order those. Grandpa will be mad that I'm gonna wear his shades while he's driving. Oh, those are cool. Oh, those are <laughs> sports. Sports. Yeah. Wanna hear it? Yeah. Turn the key. Did you have to pump the throttle when you moved it earlier, Andrew? No? You just turn the key. Okay, ready? Doors open, that's why. Oh. Oh wow, it has an alarm. Go ahead. I think that's what that's for. Yeah. See? Yeah, pretty smooth. Yeah. Oh, I really like I mean, the door panels. Like, a lot. Like, look at that that wood detail. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's luxury. Okay, can turn it off yeah. so we don't kill ourselves. Last time this car was on the road was 2002. Sure. 21 years ago. <laughs> Good math. Yeah. Oh. Dang. Yep. Oh, what is it? Where's the it's ashtray? Comfy. Oh, there's a little. This is the road trip vehicle right here. If you ever want to drive out to Vegas, this is the. Actually, this would be so sweet in the desert. And then, yeah, like you said, put the horns on the front. I'm excited to, like, figure out, you know, if there's any repairs that need to be made, and just really get this, like, drivable. What? Light. Like this, Courtesy lights. This thing just is like a new car. I didn't know that cars had this. What year is it? 75. <sighs> I need to get it right. smogged. <gasps> is this? No. Is this cash? I wonder if the air conditioning works. Is this Turn it out. Turn on the car. And just... If it doesn't, I know a guy. Do we'll suit this up. We'll put some R404 in here. We'll be blowing out penguins out the vent. <laughs> It's just like so well kept, like everything, like the little bezels. And then you got your little things. Dang. You know what? You look good in there. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe I should you get You need it. You need to get get your cowgirl hat. That's what you need. I'll get it for you. Okay, okay, get it. Yeah. Let me see. Oh yeah. Is this it? That's the look right there. The look? Yep. I need my other shirt, but you need a hat for Andrew. Oh nice. <laughs> That's it. Let's go. Let me in. We're going to Colorado. We're going to the
Did you see how dry rotted the tires are though? Oh no, I didn't even look at them. This tires might pop right now. Oh! Dang. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cruising. Oh, I like the shifter. The Pontiac with the button. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. cool. You can ask for cigarettes right there. Grand Le Mans. So cool. You're gonna tell me a Chevrolet had these kind of options? Is that what you're trying to tell me? No. I'm in a boat like this. It's just about like cruising. It's comfort. In this one. Look at how nice the dash is. Not even one crack. Yeah. Unheard of. Honestly, this thing's a little too nice. I wonder what these seats look like if we took off these covers. Mm -hmm. They're probably in really good shape. I mean, can I just peek? Just take a little, just a little peek. Wow! <laughs> That's so nice. This one too. Jeez. These are comfy seats. Okay, I'm about it. Is she selling it? No. Oh. If we fix it, you think she'll take me for a ride? Yeah, well, we're going to have to test drive it. we got to make sure this is shocks are good, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Make sure there's no noises, no road noises. Mm -hmm. Make sure the steering is good. Does it need, like, any bushings? No, I'm serious. Okay. So how long do we have to work on it? Um, um, I'd like to get it done as quick as possible, just because space around here, and this thing's not small. Yeah, I'm so happy Pontiacs are taking over the shop. <laughs> oh, no. We need more. Let's start with this. Um, so what is the issue? It's, like, not running right, or it's, like, is it stumbling? Um, I think it just has some bad gas in it, so maybe we just, we'll start with putting some 91 octane in there and just kind of let it run and flush itself out and then see if it clears up we'll also check like the spark plug wires and maybe change the plugs in it or at least check them okay. um just start small like make sure the fluids are changed and mm -hmm. it's got coolant in it and use everything here or like turn on the air conditioning see if it works if not we'll fix that for her because summer's here make sure the um, eight track player is working all right so we have the grand le mans on the lift and just from driving it in the shop, the tires were making a bunch of noise. As you can see, there's some pretty good cracking going on here. So we're gonna change these tires out first, get a fresh set of tires on it, so that way we can give it its first initial test drive. We are officially starting to work on the Pontiac Grand Le Mans. And as you can see, we got the old wheels mounted to some new tires here. But of course, when you get these new tires with the white bands, they put that blue crap on it. So we really got to like scrub this off mm -hmm. and maybe clean up the wheels just a little bit before they go back on the car. And we also ordered some stuff from O'Reilly Auto Parts, which is being delivered straight to the shop. So thank you, O'Reilly, for always saving the day. <laughs> Do it. Was fast. That? that was so quick. I literally ordered it like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> what? Okay, while well, the tires are drying outside, we are going to go ahead and grease up the suspension front and rear and also drain the oil out. All right. All right. Drain it. Here, to take this out of your way so you have more room. Go ahead. Come on! How bad do you want it? I think I need the okay, longer. Maybe come come on over here on this side and pull towards you. Okay. So hold this hold wrist and lock that 
like you're pushing this that way uh -huh. and then pull on the end the very end of the ratchet okay. there you go right there okay pull it towards you <laughs> yank it <laughs> come on Please. come on you can do it you got it no no chance no. Okay. I'll Get, be right back. Maybe there's a longer ratchet. Okay, we're changing it up a little bit. She's got the longer ratchet and a non-deep socket, yeah. shallow socket. That should help out. Okay. So we're gonna put it on like that and pull towards me. Ready? Yep. <laughs> oh Whoa. my gosh. Come on, you're on YouTube. I feel like you're gonna pull it off the whole lift. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Come on. Yank it. There it goes. There it goes. Is it? No, no, no. Oh! <laughs> yes! Okay. Good job. Okay, well, now I'll put this under. Yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. Is your arm falling asleep yet? <laughs> oh, here it comes. It's going to start running down your arm real soon. Stop. I should have got my other glove on. Here. One-handed, wow. Dang. That was pretty good. Oh my god. It's almost there. I see it wobbling. Come on, a couple more turns. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Is this way? No. So can you move this over just a touch? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Can you wipe the edge of this thing? Thank you. And then I need that rag. Yeah. Somebody's a clean freak. It's okay. That's a good thing. Here, just wipe my wrist. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna go outside. Or Here, do you want this whole yes. rag? Okay. Do you remember how you took the old one out? Yeah. So I'm gonna gymnastics this in here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, another thing we noticed with the car is we have some sort of leak here. It looks like a coolant leak. Most likely it's coming from this hose here. And the car's been sitting for so long that sometimes when they just sit like that, they'll, you'll have stuff start to seep out of like places where it wouldn't normally if it was just running. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off and just clean it up and then um, put it back together and just keep an eye on it. Hopefully it's not like a cracked radiator but most likely it's just this hose here. Well, the pads look good. So everything's good there. It's greased up a bit. Um, I guess we could put the tires on it. Yeah. Can't wait to wash it all up. I know. It's gonna look really good. All right. Where did the lugs go? Um, we put them in a Ziploc bag over here. You want to try to lift that up? I'm going to try, but... What? You want me to do it? Hang on, I'm pre-planning. I could do it for you if you want. I 
think this car would need to be like all the way down for me to do it. Okay. <laughs> Beast. Boom. Male dominated sport. Okay. <laughs> I okay. believe it. This is a male dominated sport. Hey. Here's these. So we have beauty rings. Oh, is that O'Reilly? Yeah. <gasps> you gotta hit it in just the right spot. So there. Here, I'll hold this top side so it doesn't smack you in the face. Okay, go ahead. Give it a good whacking. Okay. That's one. Ready? Yep. Nice. Okay. The Pontiac Grand Le Mans has some new dancing shoes. Yeah. Ready? So we're just waiting on, or no, we got the fuel filter, right? Around yeah. It just showed up. Okay. We're going to lift it back up, change the fuel filter. Do that. Do not forget to add the oil. We have oil. <laughs> and then maybe check like the AC. and. Yeah, we're going to run it and make sure the air conditioning works. Okay, we got a brand new fuel filter installed. We're going to let the car down now, put some fluids in it, check the brake fluid and the air conditioning. not bad yeah we'll add a little bit in the front one and that's it Perfect. okay we're gonna take off the air cleaner we just want to make sure the choke is engaging on a cold start because it had a little trouble starting the other day what do you think you think there's a four barrel under there two barrel maybe one of those three barrels you have oh yeah right okay just pull the top off of it just this Oh yeah, that's a two barrel. This thing's gonna have plenty of power. So then, you know what? I'm wondering then if this is just like a 350, if it has the two barrel. I don't know, like I don't know enough about mid 70s Pontiacs to, I don't think they would have put a two Some barrel numbers. on a 400, right? Some numbers right there. Oh, there's casting numbers? Yeah. I look that so it looks like it's a 0378732 YC. Okay, we got the choke working correctly now. And once you whack the throttle, just like this, check out the choke. Boom, it's set. So just needed to lube up a few little linkages here and we're good to go. What do you think? Let's fire her up. She just needed a little loving, you know? After all these years. That's all these carburetors need, you know? It's not like fuel injection, it's not fussy, it's not like, it's just, just a little tap. She's happy. I don't know, it sounds a little fussy. I don't know. Well, turn the key and let's see if it starts up. Give it a little bit of throttle. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna add some O'Reilly 5050 coolant right here. You, you Are tell you me. Sponsored or something? <sighs> something like that. <laughs> okay, you wanna tell me how much to. Yeah. Okay. I've heard O'Reilly's like five times already in this video. I know, because we like all their stuff and they're always saving the day. This is true. Tell me when to stop. Keep going, keep going. Whoa! That's it. Okay. Alright, coolant's topped off. Okay! Okay. Where's the cap? Oh. All the fluids are low on this car. Everything. Everything's low. And guess what we got? Hmm. O'Reilly power steering fluid. <laughs> so
this whole so thing. It. It's just like, thanks, O'Reilly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, we have everything in stock for as far. Oh, my. <laughs> that just went everywhere. I'm going to wipe it all. Don't you worry. Oh, yeah? All of it? Way down there in all those cracks? I'm getting it. Don't worry. Don't worry. If I make a mess, I clean it up. Every last drop. You're not going to see it on any of the hoses. Nothing. Although, I don't know how much more it needs. I don't know how much more we have after you spilled half of it on the floor. <laughs> Can you stop? Oh. Come on, old girl. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, first trip around the block. <laughs> you look good in a Pontiac. <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, don't even think about it. Horn? <laughs> yeah, we got a horn. Okay. We're clear? We are clear on this side. It kind of wants to stumble. Oh, 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 wow, that's smooth. Oh, oh, hang on, I should get my seatbelt on, right? Yeah, let's put our seatbelts on. <laughs> it's about to get wild. Cool. So it has a, like a hesitation. Maybe we need to check the, um, what do you call that thing in the carburetor? Where it squirts in the fuel, you the know? Accelerator when you first, pump? Accelerator pump. Yep, that's what I was thinking. You feel that? When I first give it gas, there's like a slight hesitation. Yeah, so. it's probably just like needs to be like close that gap. Or the diaphragm's completely shot out. Oh no. I've seen that before. Plenty of times. Kick down works. Wow, this thing is smooth. <laughs> this thing's funny. This thing is like super smooth. <laughs> The engine runs really smooth, I'm surprised. Yeah. It's Pontiacs, man. Does this thing have the torque? It's got the torque. <laughs> all the torque you need. And all of 170 horsepower. Yeah. It's quite the luxurious boat. Yeah, and the steering feels good. Test out the brakes here again. Oh, yep, yeah, they're good. Imagine they didn't work and we just went straight over that. Oh See, where's our engine tap? Uh, it doesn't temp. have a gauge. Oh. Oh. It also doesn't even have like, why do they give you like a clock, but they don't give you RPM? This isn't for anybody that knows anything about mechanics. This is just. That's crazy. They just to want me. the luxury and that's it. Like, it's more important to know what time it is when you break down rather than what RPM you're at. Exactly. Like, okay. Okay, let's see how the idle is now. Okay. Still a little bit rough. Yeah. Is that pedal to the metal? No, 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 it's oh. not. I don't know if I want to do that. No, I don't know if you should do that either. I just, I'm going to just give it a, just like, pulling out into traffic, got to accelerate a little fast, still not your vehicle. Okay. 75 horsepower take off. Okay. It's not extremely slow, but it's a little slow. Really through us, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's a little blurry. Hold up, guys. <laughs> Our oily hands all over the thing. That's better. <laughs> yeah, this thing is a. Uh... Oh, somebody pulled out in front Whoa. of us. We check the brakes. Okay, Let's see what kind of power we got here. Okay. Ready? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like 
pinning me back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Actually, that feels faster than the first time. It does. Maybe she just needs to warm up a little. Do you want to go to... down that way? Yeah. Just need to, like, burn everything out of it, you know? Let's stop by our friends at Willow and see if they'll throw some brakes in for this beast. <laughs> Think they make a brake package for this for 1975 Grand Le Mans? Let's ask them. Sport. Let's bring it into their R and D room and just leave it there. Is this thing registered? Uh, you tell me. Don't be getting in any sort of trouble. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, we had a really rough idle situation. I uh, found this one hose here, the vacuum hose. That was pretty cracked. So we replaced that with a new one here. And then we just found another vacuum hose that's pretty bad. That As you can see, that looks like it might be leaking. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, and it, it sounded like it was from here. Yeah, so we're gonna replace those and see if that makes any difference. Oh my, that is way better. Vibrating. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, thank goodness it wasn't like ignition related or something like that. I, I honestly didn't want to mess with the carburetor. Yeah. Let's see. Give it a little whack. See if there's any stumbling. Woo! She ready. She's ready to go. All right. Okay. All right. We gotta think of a name for this car. This car is cool. Yeah. I mean, it's not gonna be in the shop anymore, but it needs a name. I think we came up with a name. I said it should be something kind of Hawaiian because Adrian and also like seat yeah, covers. Yeah, Adrian's from Hawaii and the seat covers, you know, the Aloha seat covers. So we're gonna go with the big kahuna. How about that? Because <laughs> that's what this is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, close her up. Yeah, you gotta, oh, no, I didn't. Hang on. Yeah, you gotta be rough with this girl. Yeah, she likes it like that. Oof. Boom. Dang. Coming together. Okay, let's give it another test drive. Okay. See if that makes it any better. But wait, you need hats. <laughs> You're gonna drive this time. Really? Yeah. Okay. Wait, how do I move the seat? That's important. It's gotta be a lever. There you go. It's too much. Oh. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Careful, she's thick. I know, we're looking like urban cowboy out here, huh? That is so much better. Oh, this is so yeah, You have to really push this down hard. There you go. Let's drive. Whoa, <laughs> I'm driving a Pontiac again. Okay, which way should I go? Go right. Go right. Okay. We're clear. Clear. Oh, that is gonna fall, baby. Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> it's all that Pontiac torque. Torque. Um, yeah, this thing is running way, 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 way oh better. Oh my gosh, it's like... Night and day. Yeah. This thing is such a cruiser. You know what? I would totally daily drive this. <laughs> yeah, you know how much money it would cost to drive this thing? Oh, I know. This probably gets eight miles to the gallon. At best. <clears throat> and thanks to Joe. <laughs> we should put the thanks Joe sticker on this thing. <laughs> oh gosh, I love this thing. So comfortable. Wow. Oh my gosh, Adrian, if you're watching, you're gonna have so much fun with this hog. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. It's running like real good now. It is so much better. This is amazing. Even the speedometer is working better now. Yeah. I think it just got a little stuck before. That's Broken it. loose. She just needed to be like warmed up a little. Mm-hmm. This is a good car. Oh, I love it. 
Really good car. <laughs> you really like it, huh? I really like I can't stop smiling. Like, it's just... I used to, like, just shit on these all the time. These, like, mid-70s cars. I used to really, like, rag on them. And now I'm like, oh, wait, I get it. <laughs> like, it's, it's kind of, like, nice. It's, like, as modern as you want it. And still old school. I've been waiting to take these seat covers off. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, those are perfect. All right, we're putting some R12 replacement Freon in the system. Those are our pressures while it's running. Is it coming out colder? Oh yeah. yeah. Just get accurate reading here. All right, Andrew, it's, it's time for the final test drive. All right. I think you're going to need this. Oh, baby. Because you're driving. All right. All right, everybody's ready? Saddle. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> I feel like that's the only way to drive this car. All the maintenance is done, all the repairs are done, and let's give it a test drive. Yeah. Ladies in the back, mm -hmm. just like the old times. This is how it used to be, Andrew. <laughs> let's see what she does. It's getting a little hot in here, Andrew. How yeah. about some air conditioning? Air conditioning? Let's see what we got here. The Grand Le Mans. Big Kahuna. <laughs> I think we got to think of a different name now, more Western name. More Western. Yeah, now that the seat covers are gone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whatever you want. We got a full tank to of gas. To the local. Oh, but I left my purse. Again? <laughs> Dude, this thing rides so smooth. Oh, Hey, man. don't fall in love with it. I call dibs. You already <laughs> have a Pontiac. You already have two. No, but... Wow, this car is so smooth. It's, it's unreal, actually. Oh, there's some more boats. Oh, 58! Oh, he is chasing us, look. <laughs> Do they want a tussle? They want none of this. They, they don't want, want none of this red velvet. They don't want none of this red velvet. <laughs> they see all the hats. <laughs> and they're like, what the hell? <laughs> Maybe they're going to the bar. Oh, I was looking for well, How's the steering? How's the brakes, Andrew? What's like. the... I don't have to fight with the steering, it goes with the flow. I don't like have to overcorrect it or anything. It's just this is just how it is. I'm, I'm turning left, it's going left. Alright, where are them ladies at? <laughs> where are they at? <laughs> We're gonna pick you up, babies! <laughs> This 
This will get you the ladies, Andrew. Yeah. Oh, by the way, out there, uh, my boy's single here, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know any females? This guy's single, ready to mingle. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gnarly speed shot matchmaker. <laughs> He's got to go to Texas in this thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this little quick project on the Pontiac Grand Le Mans. It was a lot of fun. It was just a short thing that we did. So if you guys want to see more of that, leave a comment down below. Let us know. Maybe we'll get some other short-term projects. But this thing is about to go back to its owner and we have more work to do and lots of progress to make on my Pontiac Tempest uh, in the future video. So anyway, thanks again for watching and we will see you guys next time.